What's up? Doc? <laughs> Outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I ever. Well, why'd you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums. Guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass. I worked two jobs in addition to class. So forgive me for. Chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With a chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell. I'm so close I can taste it. a lot. Not good use with the time that I got. I can't spend hours doing my hair and staying in shape. I don't spend hours. But I know it'll all be worthwhile when I win my first lucrative trial and buy my mom that great big house out on the Cape. Oh, that's so sweet. No. started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. What are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for hair. Wear a hat. Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage, sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what? Are you angry? Good, so good angry. You may find a chip on your shoulder. Ah. The room just got colder. Yeah. With a chance you've been given. What are you not driven? There's just no way around it. You gotta plow through till you found it. Been reading it hard, I can tell. Shampoo and conditioner 
in one. <laughs> Vivian, I've been looking for her everywhere. Yeah. I mean, no. Okay, we're gonna miss our flight. Um, oh. I don't know if you've noticed before, but each time Warner walks through the door, your IQ goes down to 40, maybe less. <laughs> Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is the very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I've been smiling and sweet and thoroughly beaten, blowing my chance. Let's not chase him away. Let's face him and say, hey, come on. for visitation, Russell versus Sullivan. But Russell was known to the mother. Latimer was an anonymous donor. Well, yes, but without Mr. Latimer's sperm, the child in question wouldn't exist. Well, now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point. But did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? Interesting, why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to see if a child resulted from those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's standards, all masturbatory emissions where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg can be called reckless abandonment. <laughs> Miss Woods, you just won your case. Oh my god! Yeah. 